Good day, subscribers. Welcome back to The Contrarian, everybody. Today I'll be talking about the artificial intelligence stock boom that we've seen so far this year in 2023. First half of this year has been very beneficial for basically any stock that's been remotely involved with artificial intelligence. Whether or not that has really materialized for the company yet doesn't really make a difference so far. Investors have been very willing to buy into the narrative of artificial intelligence. Uh, let's be honest, it was probably chat GPT that got everybody's interests peaked in artificial intelligence, kind of showing what an AI could really do, an advanced artificial intelligence platform uh, that receives mass adoption is very capable. As a result, any company that's basically mentioned AI has seen investors flock and basically boost the share price probably more than it would otherwise. And so I guess the main question to answer now is, is this the top of this bubble? Is this kind of the peak, like what we saw in the dot-com era? Or is it just the beginning of more of this investor enthusiasm, irrational exuberance around artificial intelligence? Uh, is it the beginning of the end or is it just the beginning of more and more years of this? So uh, I think uh, I found a helpful article basically addressing this looking at previous bubbles, obviously the dot-com bubble being the most close, uh, closely resembling what is currently going on. Um, and so basically it's talking about, is this the top for artificial intelligence? Is the AI stock bubble popping? Or is it the beginning of this era? And so, yeah, the AI-fueled uh, rally that sent stocks soaring into the summer is hitting some speed bumps as companies are now reporting their second quarter earnings. Microsoft, considered a software leader in AI, told investors late last month that AI contributions to revenue will be gradual. And this uh, dimmed down investors' optimism, to say the least. AMD said it expects the market for AI accelerators to reach more than $150 billion by 2027. Um, but that projection didn't help investors. So, yeah, $150 billion, that's a decent amount. That's a big growth to their revenue, but it's maybe not as much as investors were thinking. So yeah, AMD is down and uh, the NASDAQ is down about 2% in the last couple of weeks, which is not that far from, you know, considering how much it has rallied so far this year. So invest the, uh, the NASDAQ is still very much so um, performed very well so far this year on the backs of AI and technology in general performing very well. So um, basically, Looking at previous bubbles, the dot-com bubble, in fact, um, the, the three-year return into the bubble peaks is around 150%. Um, and so, yeah, with a stock like NVIDIA, that's up, you know, 400% in the last year and 200% just this year, yeah, NVIDIA might be close to, you know, reaching maybe the peak that it reaches. Um, but, you know, 150%, that's looking at the indices or the you know major groups of stocks that that participate in this bubble. So yeah, you could see Nvidia maybe not perform as well going forward, but a stock like AMD that has really underperformed the semiconductor group, you might see AMD really outperform Nvidia and the other semiconductors going forward. Um, the, just my personal thought with with how bubbles typically behave, um, it it might be the case where you know, NVIDIA and the other leaders don't perform as well, but you see some of the laggards and other stocks begin to participate. And so overall, you would boost the, the uh, index overall because the NASDAQ is definitely not up 150% yet, but maybe it does get to that. I don't know. That would be a long ways from here. Um, you know, basically, this writer is saying, judging where we are, on the run-up in market exuberance, it's extremely challenging. So that's an understatement. It's definitely hard to say where investor exuberance is when it's gone too far, when investors are losing interest. I think it'll be the case where we see that after the fact. And yeah, we'll see that after the fact. And investors begin to just look elsewhere and lose interest in AI and technology in general. But, you know, we're beginning to maybe see uh, the buzz around AI quiet down. I'm not certain that that's completely exhausted yet. Um, you probably do continue to see 
uh, technology generally do well, in my opinion, but it might not be just as focused as it used to be. Um, I guess more of my personal thoughts on this is, yeah, the, the market in general will probably perform well the second half of this year like it has so far, um, but it might not be just as, as focused and niche as, as it has so far. So it might shift more into the general market out of uh, technology specifically, um, but just looking at all of the liquidity that investors still have in cash, just a lot of dry powder out there that has not yet been deployed, to me kind of doesn't suggest that we're close to the top of uh, the secular bubble. Now, artificial intelligence in particular might be getting close, but it, just looking at all the just skepticism, um, hesitancy investors have, you know, it, it's not reminiscent of what uh, psychology would be like at the peak. So yeah, it will eventually uh, end. The circus will eventually end. Artificial intelligence has already been way overblown. It will be, uh, you know, broadly recognized as that eventually. Yes, it will boost profits, but kind of like Microsoft's pointing out, it's going to be a gradual grow in revenue. It's not going to be this immediate rush to adoption like we saw with a app like ChatGPT. Um, so, you know, there's probably, there, there is a big disconnect in terms of enthusiasm and actual real world reality, but, you know, that will be uh, brought into, you know, mainstream investors' minds at a certain point that they've gone too far, but I just don't know that that's right now. So all this being said, let me know what all of you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Is AI just peaking right now? Have we just seen the beginning of it? You know, where where do we lie in terms of uh, this overall uh, stock uh, exuberance, uh, stock market exuberance, whether it just be AI or the stock market generally, generally? Love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section below, and I hope to see all of you again at some point.